to me, oh, tell me what you doing to me, oh, tell me what you doing to me, oh, tell me what you doing to me. You know that my love don't come for free. You scared and I'm scared of me. You know that my love don't come for free. My love don't come for free. You tell me what you doing to me, oh, tell me what you doing. Barrel Green, my Lee's Green, if you will, too. What y'all doing? It's not it's just me, but I'm not. I'm stopping y'all. I'm stopping y'all. I'm stopping y'all. I'm stopping y'all. What is really good? Yeah, the song. I like that song a lot. It's, 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 it's an old song, though. It's an older song for me, but I like that song a lot. First of all, I gotta say this. First of all, don't snitch on me. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be doing this because this is technically fast pass territory. You know what I'm saying? Because for anybody who isn't fast passing online or reading on kubari.moe, you technically wouldn't be on chapter 11 of enemy. So is it really quiet? My, I turned my game down at one point because <clears throat> I turned it down because um, when I was recording something, there was going crazy with the construction outside. So, uh, but yeah, I never mind. I got to dip anyway, I have, all right. Thank you for coming through though. Let me, let me, let me listen. Hold on. I turned it down because um, I, mean, I was recording something. I don't think I'm. I think I'm low. I think I'm, I think I'm good. But uh, yeah, enemy eleven. <laughs> oh man, I gotta. I think this is one of my favorite arcs in Kubera. Honestly, I really do. I think it's top three. I got Crime and Punishment. I don't know if I like Frozen Tears that much in retrospect. I don't know. It was. I was very emotionally invested because I'm a Teal Stan. I don't know. Night Down Rain Fire is good. You know I love the waiting time on the other side. I love those. Golden Knight 2, Asha. Right, a lot of good arcs. I'm good? Okay. A lot of good arcs. 
Yo, enemy hit different. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. To actually explore a possible universe, a possible timeline, off rip, to me, I was like, I'm. I, I thought I was personally stupid to not think we would even do that. Because I'm like, how could we be talking about the best possible timeline situation, yada, 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 but we don't actually explore some of the ones that end, the possible ones or the ones that aren't even the best, second best, third best, I don't know. Yo, I'm about to talk about Maruna. <laughs> that's my that's my son. I'm so proud of him. He's in twos. So how does F? Saha exposing Ashley's actions? Yeah. Why am I dropping frames, bro? Yeah, um Saha deserved better, first of all. Lorraine. Oh, I mean, my guy saw how dirty. But he came like, yo, I'm ready to take you out. I'm going to prove it. I'm a strong ass magician too. You're not that nice. Oh, Saha. I'm going to have to talk about that one day. This Saha is a good character to me. But despite him not technically being in the story that long. He had a lot of lasting impact. Like, I feel the impact of him of him being there to this day. You know what I'm saying? So, it's hard. Oh, God. This makes me sad. But Enemy has been fantastic. And I think there's four things that made it really good. L, yes, L. Or A. She, 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 I can't stand her and, and God Havra. Ren is one of them. I don't, I don't know if Kako's here, but hey, Ren's a better brother. <laughs> okay? I was I was on the Lutz, Lutz, Lutz bandwagon. I'm like, yeah. He go hard. He kind of harder than Ren. Not anymore. That boy ran different. Like, what I really love about Kirby Gum's character writing, I call it the limit. She limit breaks them. She takes she takes a ten out of ten character and makes them thirteen out of ten. Is to really and truly progressively push them into a different role, into a different type of like personality trait, if you will. But it's seamless, it's organic. And even what sometimes sometimes it kind of kits you in a drawing fashion. When you look back in retrospect, you're like... Living that long as a, you know, human, quarter or whatever. <clears throat> going through all the things that you've gone through. Having your family being threatened and everything. That will change a man. You're not going to be the same person after that. Like, Rand's character, that kind of shift, makes complete sense to me. But conversely, we got the big chicken, the red chicken. We got my son Maruna. I'm so proud of him. When he stopped um to tie you in that moment, I'm so proud of him. But um you never know what a character's gonna be in the future, you really don't. And then I would I would argue that Maruna's role has become more ran like. He making all these faces. He's so expressive and emotive now. He did the like the in chicken form. Talk about consent. Like, <laughs> yo, my boy, my boy Maruna's come a long way. He's been here. Maru go. That's a fact. Like, I love this version of him. I love it. I can't get enough of it. Exactly. I was about to, I want to go there, Mensa. Like, I, I, I would argue. I'm not saying they literally reverse roles, but like they overlapped in like each other's personality traits to some degree. So like Ran has a lot more Maruna in him. Maruna has a lot more Rand in him. But this also kind of makes sense because they're on. I would argue they're on a similar esque journey. Like not in terms of what they want their goals are, but like they have they were kind of thrust into the past, not to just live almost back up into a certain moment. So I think that their their, their trajectories is interesting because it's kind of going crisscross. It's really really dope. Family. 
you like the God Kubera, the God of Earth? I don't know. I can't read him. He's the one character. I'm like, bro, what does he want from my life? I don't know if I trust him. Kind of trust him. Don't trust him. He's so, I honestly think he is very hard to read personally. Maybe it's just me. I can't read him. That's my problem. My insight's not working on him. <laughs> I can't tell what he's thinking. He's always sus, but I like him somehow. I feel that. God could bear girls info. I know. He really, he actually told us something for once. <laughs> I was surprised. I'm like, he really is a little more talkative than usual today. He was telling us a lot of stuff about, um, like, the, the, the growing up and everything. The Eye of Perishment. That was a big drop. The Eye of Perishment stuff. And I, I want to talk about Raul Tara too, because I've taken a big liking to Raul Tara. She's dope. That's why you like him? No, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I can't... I guess... I guess at this point, it's hard for me to say I dislike the character or the character role. I just, like... I can't get it... Like, I know I don't like Gon Hoffer. I know I don't like Lorraine. But him, it's not like I don't like him. I can't read him. And it's bothering me. It's like... He's the one guy. I'm curious about Lee's. What makes her so special? I think the another part of her name is related to it. I think it is... I think that is going to be a part of it, too. And I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get to that moment. First of all, it was nice to see my MC. I know it was like a really sad moment. It was brief. You know, possible future. In top possible universe. But it was just like, I had. I can't remember the last time like Lee's was legit in the chapter. So it was just nice to see her. He was talking because he's from a different time. That's a... That's not a bad way to look at it. Maybe... His personality changed over time because I did find what he said to um, Maruna very telling. Like you're at you're at the stage now where you can show this level of defiance and rebellion. And I'm like, I I, I don't want to spoil tomorrow's video about Kubera, but like we got like I taught I taught I touch upon Curry Gom's ability to make a conversation very engaging. The video is basically be called the art of the art of conversation. I think Curry Gom's really good at it. I would argue a lot of stories that I read nowadays don't do dialogue in an engaging fashion. And here's what I mean by that. Has anyone, is anybody here a Star Wars fan at all? You guys watch Star Wars, like the new trilogy or anything like that? Have you ever really listened to Star Wars dialogue? Like, what are the characters really doing? They're just speaking about the various narrative and plot device and plot points. You get, you get what I'm saying? Okay, so... Let's say the main, the central plot for the movie is I must stop the Emperor. But to stop the Emperor, first I must locate where he is hiding. And and secondly, I need some type of MacGuffin crystal. And they'll do this thing. Well, we have to find out where the Emperor is. Yeah, we have to find out where the MacGuffin is. Yeah, but where could we find MacGuffin? I don't know where plot device is. Perhaps if we exposit about narrative points, we will get to point B. Like, they just speak about the story. <laughs> They're not even talking. Like, the characters themselves aren't actually engaging using their own personalities and in-narrative reasons for having the discussion they're having. It's just very, like, plot point, plot point. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I explained that well. But, oh my god, like... I, and I don't know if you guys agree with this, but I would I would argue and surmise that most people who are playing, reading, or watching something need a high level of action in order to enjoy what's going on. Whether it's fighting, whether it's some type of sports, they're playing some type of like, I don't know, killing game on some squid squid game type beat. And I'm like, I only like I know I complained a lot about <laughs> I, at one point, I wanted some more action in Kubera, and I got it now. I don't even think she needs that. I think her ability to make conversations so... Like, you're so dialed in to what the two people are talking are talking about. I don't even really care about all those other things. She's really good at it. But because she actually bleeds the characters' personalities into the conversation, which I think is a lost art a little bit. Sometimes, you'll have a character just almost be out of character for the sake of a conversation to work 
or you keep a character so stupid that the other person is always carrying the conversation. I'd argue that happens with Luffy a lot. But anyways, yeah, let's talk about if conversation can be fun on their own, which she does so well. See how much depth and time and aging and origin had a single conversation. Yeah, she really managed to turn around Tara. Yeah, Real Tara feels super, super integral now. Talk about Raul Tara. That drop about the, 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 the um, she called him the Chaos Attribute Service. Well, that was a big drop. Fucking fly. Let me get it. That was big. I couldn't, I was like, this is the contrast between, I guess, more ancient knowledge and how the more contemporary Soros are, are seeing things, look at it. I thought that was an interesting contrast. Because one thing that the Kurigam does really well, in my opinion, is she reflects the weight of time very well. <clears throat> and the differing natures, ideologies, and differences between the various, I call them like clans, but not clans, but like the various types of people, gods, humans, ancient humans, Suras, halves, quarters, whatever, pure bloods, whatever, like, pure bloods of humans. And she contrasts how different they are so well to me. And it's just refreshing because I don't think a lot of series that have beings that live this long who are have these like long lifespans or some mortal do that well. And I think she does that really well. When Raul Tara spoke about blitz ta tactics, that felt significant to me because of um, Maruna's Sunshine of Dawn. Well, that's what it called, right? Sunshine. Is it? No. Sunshine of Dawn? Did I? Crimson Sunshine of Dawn? Sorry, we got that wrong. Because he can, he can, he can um, use the two attributes that work really well against them. But I also find it very, very interesting that he has to be in his more humanoid form to use it. You see what I'm saying? I think that's going to be significant moving forward. So, I can't wait for that, man. That would be great. Anatomy is never ending. We know that all the sins of beings who could act but decide to be bad sent to trash forward to Anata. I wonder if that's related to Lee's eternal suffering. I like that. But, you know what? My joy, my joke, but my boy Jatayu was clapping, that's because no problem. <clears throat> That's uh, that's fair. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I still think that that sunshine of the criminal sunshine of dawn move is going to end up becoming more vital. I could be wrong. My first is the first thing I'm kind of throwing out there into the universe. I'm the never ending thing with with Anata. That's interesting to me. With her with her having her name now, did that happen to her? Even if even though she's not a bystander, because Anata kind of. I mean, first of all, that's the next arc. Oh, the strongest. Oh my god, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I I damn near almost just like, I was about to be like, hey, yo. Yo, slide me them raws. <laughs> I was about to say, slide me them raws. I was like, I'm going to wait. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm not going to cave on the raws yet. I might one day. But for now, I'm holding strong. I can't, I don't think I could unsee that now. I think, I think that, makes, that makes a lot of sense to me. Even though I don't, I would argue that Lee's is not really a bystander. But she's gonna take her. That sucks. That's just that's just that's tragic. Maruna. Maruna is a super duper calculative person. I don't blame him. I'm I'm very much like that. I tend to overthink, overanalyze, and before I even really make the slightest decision or move, I have to have like a flow chart of things that can go wrong. Okay, if A happens. Then you go to B. But if it doesn't happen, you stay on this trajectory. Like, it's like a flow chart of trees just branching into options. Like, I kind of, I was kind of like that for a long time. So, for to see him it act on something in a more impulsive moment, to just do something for him, like to save his brother type beat, you know, don't use the eye of perishment. I thought that was an important moment because, like, there came a point where I, so to speak, learned how to jump out of a plane and figure out how to land later. See what I'm saying? And I thought that was I think that was good for his character, and I think it's gonna be a thing that you see more often in, in present time. 
he'll act, he'll become more of a man of action. He'll act instead of overthinking all the time. It's probably going to take a while for him to just not be calculative because he's been that way for so long. But I think you're going to see a different Maroon in terms of action over um, overthinking. Notice how Lee didn't use any transcendentals against Force or Jitayu because Anata said she was able to beat Taraka with physical strength and Taijutsu. That that was back when um she pos- she was possessing things body right I think I I, I think that's when she had said that. <clears throat> but Lee carries his name, so who knows? That's why this is her destiny, or she got chosen because of her self- selfless nature. That's fair. Lee is too good of a person for her to for her own good. You know what's crazy about Lee? She reminds me of myself in a lot of ways. I would say agony. You take like Agni, you fuse him with, you fuse him with like Lee's. You kind of have who I would be in this story. So ew, is watermelon? Oh, no thanks. Oh god, oh no, oh no no, watermelon is the worst. What am I gonna say? Maruna, yeah. Could the God of Earth, Kubera, talking to him about his him not being able to act? That was your limit? Like, you wouldn't save the humans who were going to die, but you kind of feel bad and kind of be around and not watch? I thought that was so powerful. I don't know how you guys felt about that. That resonated with me. Hold on, I'm so sorry. <coughs> we talking about enemy eight or eleven? Um, yeah, I'm done. I'm not, for anyone who doesn't know, I record these in advance. Like I'm always caught up to whatever's on Kubari Damoy. I record these in advance. I don't um I don't do them the day of, so I'm actually always um <laughs> like ahead, I guess, so to speak. So I'm I, you, could, you could consider me a fast pass. That's why I did it on Twitch because I know YouTube will get me out the pain for that. But um. Yeah, Lise is Lise is, is so such a nice person, and it's like, I don't know, man. I she reminds me of myself in so many ways. It just hurts. It hurts to see her, but <sighs> I think this next arc should probably focus on her because obviously it's Kalanata, and we could still probably look at things from the literal dude and maybe people trying to resurrect him. But also because she has his name now, maybe this is the part where we focus on her. Why did, what, did, what, what did she mean when she said that no matter, you know, I'll be there for any and all of your ends and demises, no matter what, if you're, if you're gonna, if it's a possible future or timeline, I'll be there. Is, is, she, is she somehow able to literally be present no matter what? When Jatayi or Yuta's gonna pass? She made me cry, bro. Marina being calculative and got any and and Kubera called him out. Like, bad. And it's funny because I I don't if I was Maruna I probably would have ended up doing it, doing what he did to save to save Jatayu, but I wouldn't have trusted him. I wouldn't have done it, but I wouldn't have trusted him. Yeah, yeah, I did, I did too. I was ho- I was doing my best. I would, obviously, you guys will see in a couple of weeks. I did my best. I was just trying to like, <sighs> I was doing the most to not feel nothing. And as soon as she did this. And dropped to her knees. I just went, I just went, fuck. <laughs> they just started coming out. I couldn't stop them. I couldn't, I couldn't close the floodgates. I couldn't stop. That just hit me. That hit me hard. I'm, I've read Tower of God for over a decade. And Tower of God has made me feel a lot of things. I've never cried reading Tower of God. So Curry Gom's uh, very mean. <laughs> She's so mean, man. When do I get? I just wanna. I just want. I just. I just wanna be happy. I just. I just wanted to be happy. <laughs> I can't. I can't deal with their view like this, bro. I wonder why Ran needed to do that journey to get hella dark himself, but dark. I think he wanted. I think. I would argue that Ran had a level of ditziness and naivete that needed to get beaten out of his body and i think that i, I we'll see how it pre- how it translates into the present time and the real the real universe but i think that was part of it 
And then Maruna, over the course of time, needed to learn to be more compassionate and care about life in general, um, humanity, and things of that nature. So I, th I think that, like, they both needed to take some things from each other's personality. That's what I think. Curry gone. Pain e romance equals pain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Story of my life. So I feel that. I, sh I actually ship that. Like, I want you to at least be happy. I really do. can you do, man? Let's get sad. <clears throat> Wait, Maruna needed the gods to have a strange way. Doing that, the gods have, yeah, they have a strange way of teaching. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, for the future, I don't know. Because some people have asked me if I think the series is ending. I honestly, I don't have, I, I don't think I have enough of a sense to get that. I don't, I don't think so. I would argue that we have a couple more major things to get to. But uh, this next arc, I really, I'm already excited just based off the name of it. I think it's gonna be great. There's a couple more things I want to touch about in an in, in enemy though before I forget. Book <clears throat> about Tara. I think she's a great character. I like how she takes Maruna at the end. I like her dedication to him, despite her not even being a fan of the Garuda clan. Maruna is now the Garuda clan's finest. That's my son. That's my guy. He tried to save his brother. I respect it. Now we, now we know why Chandra treated Aran so differently. Yeah. Chandra, I like Chandra. I like him. I, I I just know I wouldn't get along with him. That's the only reason. I don't think I don't know if I said that before. I know if I was in that world, me and Chandra would butt heads. But I like him. He's pragmatic. He he, he does his thing. I think there's nothing wrong with him. Yeah, he's cool. I can't uh I can't be mad at him. Uh, I like Vayu. I like Indra a lot. I need more Varuna. The God of Earth. Listen, I I just can't read him. I don't think he's a bad character. But I can't read him. Do I like do I like Brahma, Bubblegum Merchant? Nah, I'm not a Bubblegum Merchant fan. Like Yama's yeah, alright. A lot of cool gods. I gotta talk. I can't wait to really talk about each and every, like the primeval gods, Fizan, nature, whatever. I can't wait. Really, Indra? Yeah, Indra's is yeah. Cause like, listen. Despicable people who just don't hide it. I, I I can't be mad at that. I'm kind of a fan of honesty to a fault. Where it's like, it could be honesty that hurts. Honesty that's evil. But I'd rather you not hide that. Like, I'll, I always say I respect the person who puts the knife. Who pulls a knife out on me. Like, like to my face. Like, I want you dead. So here it is. And instead of the person who's like, I love you. You're my friend. And over the course of six years, they were like poisoning my food and my drink. So I would die of natural causes. I want the person who doesn't want to be like, hey, I don't like you. Let's go. Yeah, that's fair. We can we can get it. That's how I am. So, Indra's the Kanhavra of God. No, stop that. No, stop that. Stop. Stop. No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. No, he's not. <laughs> oh shoot. Indra be scheming. Yeah. He just, I don't know. He looks like he just looks like a like a a bit of a shit disturber. He's not Cali level chaos merchant, but I don't know. I like him. Brown was irritating for some reason. I don't know. I just can't. I don't. When she came that one time with the HA human, she's like, ah, oh, you guys are like failures, just blowing bubble gum. Like times will just kill him out. I don't know. I just it just didn't it didn't sit well with me. And however, is more likable and redeemable than than Indra. But that's just nah nah. I don't even no. Ganhavra is not anything. Oh, God, this guy Ganhavra. He haunts me. He ruins my life every day. Every day he ruins my life, man. Oh, I could totally see Indra allying with Asha. Just for fun. Just for ish and giggles. I could see I could see him doing it. Don't know if you will, but I can see him doing that. Because I don't... Vishnu would probably be the other one that I have no... I don't... I almost... I ha, I have these weird moments in sto when I'm reading a story where I couldn't tell you what narrative reason I have for the thought process that I have or the feeling that I have, but I have it. For example, 
when the Itachi revealed happened in Naruto, it didn't shock me in the slightest because for some reason, Itachi never came across to me as either like evil, antagonistic, or like not on our side, quote unquote, or Sasuke's side, quote unquote. But I had no, there was no in-story moment or text or, you know, where I was like, this is what made me think that. I just had that feeling. And for some reason, I don't think Vishnu is a good person. I think Callie's more so, even though she's a chaos merchant, I think that she's more so like not a bad person as Vishnu is. I don't know why I have that. I have that feeling, but I do. It's a personal thing. I feel like uh, Callie's not as bad as people want to make her seem, and Vishnu is the one that's probably like a dickhead. If that makes sense. <clears throat> I don't know why I think that though. I hope I'm wrong though. I, I, I love I love chaotic merchants. So, well, for Tachi, Tachi didn't kill anyone when he's coming in the village. Well, I well, I, well at the time I wasn't look. I didn't analyze all those things. Like, you could look back in retrospect now, and I can find those reasons. But at the time, I was just like, yeah, I never thought he was a bad guy. I don't know why. I just I didn't. And I have a lot of moments like that. We're just like people are like were you, you. Is that that I knew? I was just like I just wasn't shocked for some reason. But anyways, yeah. But um no this is this is I still think this is one of the stronger strongest arcs in Kubera. Listen man, when it comes to these season 3s, there's levels to this, all right? You got what that slave in utero guys doing? I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. Well, Karikom? I know what he's doing. I have to go back and read them online though. I didn't read Enemy Online since like chapter 4. I want to go and heart them and like them just to see what what they messed. I heard they called I heard they called uh, Yuta Maruna's sister in one of the translations. I don't know what's going on with the with line, but even Tower of God's getting bad translations, which is really weird. I'm not sure what's going on with them. I gotta figure that out. Peak arc for sure, for sure. I don't know if it's I don't I don't know if it's my favorite. I don't know if I'm hype beast. If I say it's my favorite, but it's up there. I'm gonna think on it. Then I'm gonna have um I'm doing I'm doing I'm working on uh, my favorite six arcs in Kubera um video so you'll get that yeah they did lines getting bad yeah I don't know what's going on and I think I think one of the most important things which is kind of hard is you have to you have to you must get somebody who is familiar with the series who can also read the the two languages I I don't. I don't think this is a series you can just give to a random translator out of context and they can make sense of what's going on. I think you need the people who are translating these types of series need to also be following it. Whether I don't even say that to be a fan, but they should be keeping up with it or following it. Does that make sense? Season 3 has been tremendous for side characters. I absolutely agree with that. Um, it's just great. Like... Is it is it hard to not see Lee's for a while? Yeah, sure, but there's no problem with making her take a back seat to develop and have these other characters do what they're doing, expand their own stories. Because you know, I always talk about it's gonna converge at some point. I know it is. The Rand journey, the Maroon, it's gonna converge in some great fashion somewhere. And I like, I can't wait. Cause with her, I could I, the long term payoff is always phenomenal. You're gonna, yeah, you might have to wait a while. You might have to, you know what I'm saying, get some pump fakes and yada yada. But when it comes full circle, you're like, yo, I'm so happy I waited. <clears throat> and I thought a good arc too. I think Kurgan was only making peak arcs since two years ago. Okay, well, I haven't read that yet. So I'll, I'll see when I get there. But I, I, I do have a good a good feeling about it. I think her appearance um, in the end made her absence pay off hit so hard. There's that too because she's like also there, but she's not like fully, fully there. Like, it's almost like this, like, fading away E3 real version of her when she comes to hug thing from the back. And I was just like, he's like, when he said that every version of me must have must have been at his happiest when he passed away. I, I hate how much of a, a, like, a hopeless romantic that I really am. Like, I try not to act that way, but I just love, I love love, I love romance. And she's killing me, dude. She's killing me, man. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to be happy. I I might have to jump off the Asher train so so Lee's gives me happy. I'm so I'm so tired of hurting, bro. 
tough to divide to compare to everything to flow toward the big river. I totally agree with that. I'm still going to take them by like the chapters and isolate them to speak about the contents of what happened. But I agree with you where it's like nothing necessarily feels isolated. Like, oh, we can remove this. And it's like, no, it's like this leads to this and that leads to this. And it's all going up upstream or downstream, if you will, to a certain point. Yeah, I agree with that. The only payoff for Lee's is pain. <laughs> Stop. Ah! <laughs> There's gotta be a way out. There's gotta be a way. There's gotta be a way, yo. There's gotta be a way. I can't. I, I don't accept. I don't accept my fate. I'm fighting against it. I don't accept. Free, yo, free Lee's, man. Free Utah. Free Jatayu. Also, the part where Kubera spoke on this Lee's special presence hurt me. She is destined to suffer. Yeah. It's like, why? <laughs> what is the reason? <sighs> I, might have to, I might have to do the reread. No, I have to finish. No, I need to no, focus on finishing. The, I'll finish the finite and then reread. Because I'm about to reread and I'm taking out the big chungus notebook. I'm writing everything down. I'm about to get my knowledge the F up. And then I know Vince is going to be reading it. Pat's going to be reading it. So I just have to wait. But we'll, we're getting there. Milios is reading it. Me and Milios are going to have some conversations. We're just, just be patient. The, the, the discussions are coming. And I I can't wait to do that. But I want this as much as y'all want to do it. Okay, I'm trying to talk with the homies about something with um good, phenomenal writing. I can't wait. I need it. So, <clears throat> as Kelly says, there's no reason for things. It's all chaos. Hey, I'm taking mad screenshots on Ruby 2. That too. That's what I did the first time. I took more screen. I didn't take notes, but I took screenshots of important things. <sighs> God, read the afterward along with your Ruby. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. For sure this time. For sure this time. I, I read them. I read them now, but I do think there was a moment in time that I wasn't really reading them. But I, I did I did go through some of the, a lot of the blog stuff like on my own, but I did go through all of it from start to finish. But yeah, I know I know you've been asking too. I promise you're coming. It just it's just a matter of getting the guys up to speed, catching up and everything, and then we can have it. So, Mister, bringing a present to Lee's. He is asked that wait. In the present to these, he's asked that more pain, yeah, just more pain, just pain. This is just he just hits us with these painful psychological transcendentals that make us sad. But this, 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 this narrative, like this webtoon, is special to me, man. It's it's incredible. I don't think I will. It will be extremely hard for me to see a webtoon come out that could supersede this for me. As somebody who's a really big fan of writing and storytelling, do think the artistry, you know, I'm on my Descartes, you know, beauties in the eye of the beholder, whatever. I never had a problem with Kubera's art. I do think it can leave some to desire. I think it was great from the from the start. I think she got better as it went on, and she got much better action scenes and just kind of displaying action in general. I always thought the environments were vibrant and beautiful. Cali Bloom to Altera, Altera. <clears throat> all those various places I actually think look really cool. I like the water channel. You know, the various island, Willar, all of them. I think they look great, honestly. I actually somewhat really like the like weird kind of detail list art she can do sometimes because I think she uses it appropriately. Like, to have the world fading out and have Lee's come in with that like not level of super detail, but for me to still see her do this when thing drops away, like, she's holding him, and then her arms go, and then she does this, and then she drops to her legs. I felt every, I felt that, like. <sighs> I'm hopeful for the future. I don't know why. Two maybe leads. I hope they can both live and live. I don't even care if they have to be. Maybe if they can't be together, so be it. But can they just be alive and be happier? Like I don't know, dog. Kubera is just it's so good. I don't know if I've ever told you all this. Just on a side note, I actually did not think. Have you have you seen Doctor Bohead pull about Rita Kubera? No, I haven't seen it. I actually no, that's not true. 
I saw it in passing in my Discord. I didn't see the post itself. I'll look at it after. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. If you read it, that's good though. We'll get more people on board. Because he has a much bigger following than I have, so he can get more people to 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 be interested in the series. I don't know though. I, I this I do think I do think Kubera's like it's really it's a really good narrative, and I think anyone who gives it a fair chance will see that. But in the same vein as my, my as my favorite light novel series, Monogatari, I don't think it's for everyone. I actually think it's an acquired taste. You have to be a certain type of patient and a certain type of lover of writing for it to really, really resonate with you. And you have to you have to be a person who doesn't necessarily need action. So I don't think it's for everyone, but that's that's hype though. That's dope. I don't know, his audience isn't ready for it. I kind of I kinda of get that impression. But but the way that they, they they kind of speak and have discourse in the comment section, this kind of seems like a story that will go completely over their heads. Like, they wouldn't really grasp it and appreciate it the way that they should. I don't know, though. I'm not going to cast any aspersions on them. I don't know these people, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I do think the story is still an acquired taste, despite it being extremely, extremely elite. Masterclass. That I was going to say was, I don't know why I got this impression. Maybe just because I was reading it in a binge. And I actually think webtoons are not, on average, not the best at this. I didn't think Kubera was going to be a great week-to-week -week read. I thought it was going to be one of those things where I'm like, as a binge, I love it. But, but as a, when, I, when I catch up, I thought it was going to be harder. I lied to myself. This shit is super engaging week-to-week -week as a binge. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter how we read it. It's fire. You think Leeds will fade away from people's memories? Her lack of presence in season three sim is symbolic. Makes sense given what God could bear prophesize. I, I probably never thought about it, cause they, cause I, cause some of the characters still bring her up from time to time, but I wonder if her presence that will be interesting though for some of them to not really think about her and then maybe she comes she pops back up on some heroic shit. I don't know. I'm with that. I can I can like I can't stay for spoils, but hope y'all having fun. Thank you, my guy Abdul. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. <clears throat> But uh, I, I um, I can see that happening. <sighs> now nah, you know what? Before the year ends, I gotta do. I gotta do another reread. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta. Yeah, that's something that surprised me. Weekly read is very enjoyable. Yeah, I, I just for some reason, Mensa, I don't, I'm not sure why I thought that. Maybe because like I think I thought Noblesse and even Tower got it sometimes is whatever. Like as much as I like them, I don't think they they do the thing where it's like they tell a complete story in one chapter with a impactful cl a cliffhanger. But I am. I was genuinely surprised. I'm like, no. From the time I caught up, which I think I caught up, I had finished a wait of time, and now it's on the other side of the story. I'm like, no. This is equally as enjoyable week to week in a different way. So it's great. Weekly, you tend to notice more detail. The binge, most things glossed over and have to reread. Yeah, and this is easily one of those stories that, with the foreknowledge that you have, going back and rereading it, knowing about Asha and all the varying things that's gonna happen, you're gonna have a much deeper appreciation for a lot of scenes and it's going to recontextualize a lot of old moments like i can't imagine how that moment knowing like the moment the first time seeing lee's with the sort of end to what she's doing and Asher's like wait a minute who are you but we know later on it's future lee's in her bot coming back and saying this is a child that i want to protect and see be happy like i wonder how that scene is with me having that knowledge so like there's so many moments like that i can't wait to revisit that's a good point. Asha Essential disappeared from memories via this new spell, which is a time spell. God could bear it also feeding present of everyone, maybe abusing time as has its drawbacks, yeah. But 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 if you tried to move in silence, I can't believe Asha did that, bro. The hot the this new spell to, yo. So she could extend her like that do you know that's that's seventeen D chest. <laughs> everyone's like I told you, everybody was playing with with sticks in the sand and she was playing 16 dimensional chess big brain operation respect the one-handed goddess oh god you and me not a cup the best possible time the rich lore we already know makes the weekly experiences great and not overwhelming i think i can agree with that i think i can agree with that and this is the, this is a story where i think the war and world building are good and not over overdone and it actually is meaningful in the present time. Like, nothing that I think that happens or any place that I hear of 
nothing nothing in the story that seems meaningless or unintentional. It always has meaning. <clears throat> and, I, and I appreciate that. Oh man. Oh, what's gonna happen next? We're in a race to be seen. I really there's a part of me that just truly wishes I could see this stuff animated. But I do not trust any studio to make this story as uh, to, to make to make this animation work. I don't think it would even resonate with a lot of audiences just because because there's a lot of talking and stuff. I think it'd be pretty niche. But I definitely always say this. I think it'd be a great visual novel. Obviously, light novel or novel in general. We know that. But <clears throat> but visual novel from Kubera, I'll play the f out of that man. This is the this is easily. The best story that ah no 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 it, it, it's not competition because Jojo jo, jo Leon was I I really do like though I do think it fizzled out a bit at the end and Monstrous is still absolutely incredible Jesus Christ but Kubera's been Kubera's my like story of the year if you will end of the year easily nothing's gonna beat it in the, in the last two months it's the story that I've enjoyed I've enjoyed the most reading. The thing I've cared about the most this year. Put on the Kubera green for this video easily. It, it, it wins. MVP. It's, just, it's, it's the webtoon of the year. Everything. Everything. I don't trust any studios. I want a VN. Yeah, I feel that. <clears throat> I've seen them butcher so many webtoons. I just can't, man. That ah uh, scared me. <laughs> oh. That's going to be good. Actually, let me ask you guys. Let me ask you guys something. Like, take 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 yourself back to um, like season one and two, which before the like obvious paradigm shift with Asha, where she fully comes and shows you her true nature. What was your guys' opinion on Asha as a character? Did you like her? Did you not like her? Did you trust her? Were you shocked by the quote unquote betrayal, or were you un or were you unsurprised? I'm just curious. Just came. What future encounters, conflicts are you looking forward to? <laughs> oh. Asha sees it. <laughs> I cannot wait for Asha to do what she gotta do. Make their moves. I can't wait for some focus to go back onto our main character, Lise. I'm excited for that. Um, I'm. I want to see fifth stage Maruna. Sempanti and stuff was going up there in space and everything. Like I, there's a lot. There's a lot. Free, free to tell you, man. There's a lot though. Sorry, hold on. Uh, yes, I love her, but more in a Rachel way and is better developed. I hate her, but she is great. I was so unsurprised by the betrayal. I didn't expect the scale of it. <laughs> okay, that's fair. My dad was like, Lee's and trusted Asha to do the best interest for her. Ha! <laughs> we were in the same boat. Yo, she trick us, man. She trick us. See? I, like I see, see when you said like you were so you were so unsurprised, it's one of those things where it's like, am I an idiot? Like obvious like <laughs> like like I that to me that to me was the was the right way to see it. Like why is why is big why is such a big deal? Like she's been a dickhead since the first chapter. <laughs> <laughs> like this shit's like the first season, <laughs> but I'm like, wait, <laughs> what if she's, what if she's destroying all these Kuberas with the name? Because at the time, I'm thinking, the the the, the power of name is split upon the, the all the Kuberas. So as she's killing them, it's making Lee stronger. I said, nah. She said, no. I I've, I've been honest the whole time. I tried to choke you in your sleep. I'm like, I just might be stupid. <laughs> And then I went, and then I said, hey, I'm Team Asha. <laughs> She's so cold with it. She is so cold with it, man. The turning point for me was Asha choking Lee's. Fair enough, fair enough. There's a part of me that I thought maybe she had some weird, like, psychological thing. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe I trusted her. I, was, I, actually, I actually think I'm stupid for that. I really do. I think I'm dumb for that. I was done for that. Okay. 
You guys mind if we switch gears to something to something something worse? <laughs> no, nah, let's not do that. Stay here. Never mind. Do that later. What about uh, the, the, there's one more character I want to ask you guys about. What's the other character I want to ask you guys about? Um What about Brilith? I only ask this because I've started I've started to lurk the Reddit a little bit and just kind of like see what more people are thinking in the community. Plus, I have a lot more people on Twitter who care about it. But I was gonna say, did you like Brilith's older personality more, or do you like what I call I guess Neo Brilith, ancient ancient human Brilith more? Because I I you see this panel right? You see you see that picture right there where she's I found it revolting. came out and said that I said this is the baddest bitch in the series and it's not debatable it's not debatable that's the goal oh shoot um the, turning, the queen part of me thinks Asha is the cursed child really that's interesting why why Slanderville and Brilliant is a goaded okay yeah, no, because I, I I've seen some people I've seen a lot of people silent magic brilliant a I've seen a lot of people say a like I preferred her back the old one like I don't like this version and I'm like I like this version <laughs> like this Rand listen Rand being oh, whatever oh, don't calculate I just do shit I froze my my own leg ah like but like seeing him now when he's just kind of more like like when Rand said. He almost, I can't, I'm sorry if I don't remember the quote verbatim. Something along the lines of him, like, he knows his lifespan will be restored in the true universe. And him kind of pushing himself to the brink of death. He had this weird, sadistic, like, I gotta know how it feels. Like, I'm like, Rand, you need a Snickers, my nigga. But this is a gangster. Keep keep it up. <laughs> keep, keep it, it's a hard, so keep it up. But, yeah. Ashton and Brilliant had that weird affinity prior to these events. There's that too. There's that too. They they, they had a lot of scenes together. A lot of together. Yo, where's and I, and I need to see Lila again. Lila's my yo. I love Lila. I became a, I don't know when or how it happened, but I became a super Lila stand. We gonna talk, I gotta talk about. It. But I, I am a I am a bit of a priest priestess merchant. <laughs> I like a lot of the priestess and priests. I like Claude too. I need old Claude back though. I was telling the proof because Agni can't get over Brilith and that one panel where Asha was like, you don't deserve happiness, okay? Or her offering re offering revenge for Raw Tower. Eva Ran is cool. Oh, yeah. Eva Ran is... I need a Snickers Ran to hit Um. You don't deserve happiness, eh? I can't wait to... I gotta... I'm, 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 I might just... No, I can't do it today. I gotta... I gotta... I gotta I gotta edit some videos, but I'm gonna have to just start that reread. But see now, but then I, but, then I, but also when ah, I want to do Camaro things, I need more time in a day, and I need a clone, I need a shadow clone that I can make do things, and when we merge back together, I get his experience points. I need that so badly. This is not enough time in the day. Raul Tower is really dope. Though. I really like that character. I hope I hope she's still around. I want to. I didn't think she, I didn't think she was gonna go through the portal. Actually, do I think Asha has suffered more than Lee's has? In a weird way. I almost want to say it's like the series of unfortunate events that happened to Lee's are much more contained and back to back where maybe Ash has had that suffering over a longer period of time from like what happened to her through the childhood with the upheaval or the cataclysm, whatever uh, translation you use. That is an interesting question. That's a good video idea. Definitely the one that I, I would say I see suffer more, though, is our main character. So, 
like on screen. I don't, but I doubt, but I don't doubt Ashley has gone through her fair shares of a lot of suffering and pain. She has no goddamn arm, all that kind of stuff. But when I kind of see her flashback stuff, while she's very much on a mission, she doesn't come across to me as sad. More so, as just like driven and determined. But I know that it came from a place of a of a negative event. That's a good question. What do you guys think? That's a good question. I like that question. I like how she can hold her own rather than lying in agony. That's the best part. I don't, I don't, oh, I don't saw the proof of agony. Yeah, I read that. Or offering the altar. What do you think? I, should, I mean, Raz has the offering token. Suffering isn't as simple as pain and loss. Like, it depends on uh, how they have dealt with their pain. Asha handles the pain and suffering better, at least out here creating mazes in her mind. I guess I guess I guess that yeah. That's probably a question you have to ask yourself. Like when someone says like, oh, you know, who has more power? But what does power mean to you? Is power military might? Is that physical strength? Is that to have enough monetary value and socioeconomical status that you can move the needle? Like I'm a billionaire. I can throw money at this thing to make something happen. Like what does power mean to you? So in the same in the same vein, it's like what does suffering mean? What is pain and how are the the varying individuals dealing with it? Because even though I don't, I would argue I don't see it a lot. I do think that Asha is in a lot of is in a lot of pain in her own way. Where Lisa's own comes across as a lot more traditional, like very expressive, emotive. You see her sad and brooding, blah blah blah. This X Y and Z. You see her like you know, like you see it a lot more because yeah. As someone said in the chat, she I guess Asha is kind of like she puts on the mask. The brave face and just kind of toughs it out. Whereas you see Lee's always feeling it and going through it, you know? Maybe they yeah, maybe they just deal with it better. I think Lee's handles it better. And she she does not continue the cycle of suffering. That's interesting. And it's because she doesn't want to continue. Okay, I like that answer. I like that. That was powerful. Because some people would argue if you're feeling some type of way or some type of pain, you should let you should allow yourself to feel to feel that emotion. If you're sad, cry it out. Whereas you might have someone like me who's like, Hmm, I ain't gonna cry, I'm a tough guy, I'm just gonna go out in the world and not deal with it and just like <laughs> you're probably you're probably not properly dealing with the situation, you're just putting on the the thug, the thug life mask and going out in the world and dealing with the bullshit of having to, you know, tell the trials and tribulations of the day. Nah, that's a good video idea. I'm making a, I'm making a video of that. I like that. I'm gonna save that for a video. For sure. I like that. I'm gonna write that down. I'll write it down in my, in my notebook here. That's gas. It kind of reminds me of when I did that video with Ran and, um, whatchamacallit, Ran and I said Ran. I don't know. Aguero and Rachel. What the hell happened to my brain for a second? Uh, 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 uh. Lisa has learned. The hiding of pain and emotions from Asha, which is why she was unfazed by the gods of Nasticas. Well, she had to try something different at some point, right? Correct. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, I'm gonna head out of here. Uh if I'm not back tonight, I'll be. I'll, I will stream tomorrow. But thanks for talking with me about Kuber for a little bit. I gotta take this. This is important. But uh. Yo, I'm excited for the future, and I think you guys will like tomorrow's video. Um, I got a video coming out later today, but it's a, it's a Tower of God video, and I do want to get proper discussions with like people and stuff. But yeah, yeah, I know. I need to, these discussions are kind of therapeutic for me. But yeah, go bear go, man. You're... I did not end the stream. Whoops.